Hey everybody! In today's video, I'm going to be working with the newest Picket Fence Studios release and making a little scene with Distress Oxides and the new Circle Stencils and Mask from Picket Fence Studios. These come in three different sizes. I'll be using the smallest one today, and I'm actually just going to use the positive with a little bit of temporary adhesive on it. I use Hermafix. And I'm placing that down on my card front. And now I will create my scene. I'm using the Life Changing Blender brushes with three colors of Distress Oxides. Sorry for my throat. It's Tropical Storm City, which means Mold City. So I'm struggling. But with the mask in place, I'm adding color as the basis for a galaxy background. And this is so quick and easy with these brushes. And the last step is black soot, which will give the illusion of a night sky. So I'm finishing that up. And then I want to give like just a very subtle glow around my moon. Since Distress Oxides are pigment inks, you can layer them. So I'll add just a tiny bit of the squeezed lemonade to give an aura around the moon. This will be very subtle. And after I give that one last blend, I'm going to do something really dumb and take the mask off and remove some of the adhesive. And then I realize I need to put that back on. But I left it in. So you know I'm human. Then I'll sprinkle water all over the Distress Oxide ink. That will give me sort of abstract stars. And then I go to remove the mask and look. I plop it upside down on the card and I get two little marks, but it's okay. The image I'm using is a silhouette image and so I'll be covering that up. No biggie. I do want the water droplets to dry though before I go on to the next step since I'm stamping. So I'll set the card front up in my Misty, and I love this stamp. It's so fun. It's like a string of shaped Christmas lights, and I want it to look like it's swinging in front of the moon, but I also need it to cover up my mistake. <laughs> so you get to be here for all of that. So I'll kind of adjust it. I didn't want to lose the stocking and the angel at the top, so I end up moving it down, and it still works with the two images at the bottom, obscuring my mistake. So that's perfect. Make sure my cardstock's in the corner. And then I'm using my favorite, especially for solid images, Nocturne Ink. It's fantastic ink for solid images and I'll ink this up and stamp it right over the whole scene and you'll see how it covered up my little blotches perfectly doesn't that look cute it looks like you're on the porch and you're looking out and you have your little Christmas lights strung up on the porch and it's kind of a windy night that's what's in my head anyway. Now since I have the Misty, I will stamp it again, make sure it's perfect. And then I'm going to add some embellishments, really accents, with a white pen. I will create stars with my white Jelly Roll pen. 
Most stars will be dots, some bigger, some smaller. But I do like to create a little puddle of ink and then flick out for little starlight effects like I'm doing here. And that just adds some interest to random stars all over the scene. Other than that, I left this in real time just to show you the difference that a minute can make with your final accents. Makes all the difference. And you can go fast and make tiny dots with this pen or go slower and make larger dots. Sorry for the croaking. It is what it is. And it's supposed to rain. It's been raining for freaking ever. And now that we're getting these storms, these were like the precursor to the storms. And now that we're getting the storms, it's going to rain forever again. And I'm just going to sound like a frog the whole time. Now, the difference between the larger and the smaller stars, I think, is what makes it interesting. So be sure and put both. I like to create little clusters, like little nebulas, and then just do random stars. But in a minute, you can have a big difference between a flat sky and a galaxy. So now I'll add highlights, even though the moon isn't technically shining on these Christmas lights. We have to remember this is a card and it doesn't matter. So draw highlights. No one is going to give you a physics test after you make a handmade card. Or if they do, you should get them out of your life because you don't need that kind of negativity. So I will highlight the right side of each of these images just to give them some dimension and some interest. I think it makes it look really cute and three-dimensional. After you're done with that, you don't really need to do much else. I added a cute sentiment and stuck it on a card base. Head over to my blog for the rest of this release, and thanks so much for watching.